IP address scheming is complicated, and SharePoint doesn't make it any less complicated. You want to make sure that your IP addresses are well documented. If you're using DHCP, you want to make sure that SharePoint is using a reserved address. If you're using DNS and WINS, then you want to make sure that the names that you register in DNS are the same that you use in WINS. Let me, take an, let me give you an illustration. If you are one of those unlucky firms that has to use WINS in your environment, like Microsoft, then you want to make sure that the names that you register in WINS are identical as they are in DNS. If you are using names that are longer than 15 characters, then you're going to have an issue. Let me illustrate. There is a client, or a was a client that we used to have, the names have been removed to protect the innocent, that used names that were longer than 15 characters. The problem is, when you have names that are longer than 15 characters, WINS will truncate that name, and it will take the first 13 characters and then use a tilde, and then put a number right after that. The problem in SharePoint is that the name that WINS uses is the one that's registered in the configuration database. So if you look at the slide, I may have two servers, one named phx2-fills-app-01 and one named 02 with a fully qualified domain name with the .company.com. Well, since that name is longer than 15 characters, WINS will truncate it and put a dash zero for the first name and then truncate it again and put a tilde one for the second name. When you do a search, what will happen is SharePoint will look for that name in the configuration database. And if it doesn't see it, it will say, can't find that, that resource. So what you want to do is if you're using names in WINS that are longer than 15 characters, take the truncated name, take that name, and register it in both WINS and DNS. That way, when a user goes and searches for content, they'll be able to find it either using the regular name, the fully qualified domain name, or the truncated WINS name.